Don't forget. Something must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes. I am Daniel.
the collection. Can you hear me now, my friend? Can you hear me now, buddy? Am I coming in good and clear now? I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just saying, can you hear me better? And of course, I have my headphones, but not a good choice. <laughs> Especially against my own hand. Ow. But can you hear me okay? Good. Good, good, good. Oh, that makes me happy that you can hear me. <coughs> I need you to hear me if you want to hear what I'm saying about the game. Know what I'm saying? Yes, I definitely did fix it. <laughs> yes. I think I had the volume too low. Sorry about that. Really sorry. Ooh, tinderbox. Sorry. I do that every time I find tinderboxes nowadays. Ah. Every time I find tinderbox, I go, tinderbox. And by the way, this Thursday we're having a new game. Come on. Okay, I'm not finding. Where, where's the thing? Where's that other closet? Where's that other closet? There you are. Huh. Where is she? Where's what? Where is she? <laughs> Where's who? Where is who? Where is she? Who is she? I don't know. <laughs> Why is he? You're talking to me just since there. Oh. 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 I went to the wrong door. Oh, she's sick right now. Kind of trying to rest. Plus her tab is broke. Her tab is broke. I meant to say broke, sorry. <laughs> bad, bad, bad grammar. Uh, her tablet broke. Uh, her tablet broke. <laughs> and she's not feeling good right now, so she's taking some rest. She misses all her friends from here. You, Spyro, all of you guys. You guys are cool. Cool friends of ours, you know that. You know we love, we love. What? Eh. I'm thinking I'm going backwards now. Now I'm going forward because the plane is going on. you as a friend. Of course. She just haven't been she hasn't been able to talk because her tablet's broke, dude. Uh, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like the dark. Bye-bye. I'm getting out of here, fellas. Get out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. Throwing cloth on the ground. I'm not going in that door, because I know there's a monster in there. Oh, sorta. Of. And 
and I'm gonna go follow this to the door. Yeah, true, she was funny like that. But with her, how her she, how she spent sick, it might not be good. I good idea to do that so much. Oh, I'm just gonna go this way and this is gonna go out. Oh, oh no. Okay, I'm really wanting the light one by then. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I saw a hand. There we go. Yeah, true. I agree she is funny when she's like that. Yeah, true. <laughs> ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes one last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, 
and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Alright. And I got a little bit of oil so I can actually get to this lever. Not in this area. Hey, um. Hey, Alex, do you see I have some spiral emotes inside those emotes there? I don't know if you know if the fire one's mixed in there. Just saying. My interest in the meat. Do you like those emotes? The ones I posted? I'm gonna uh, try and not look that way. Uh, it's gonna force me to look that way. Really? That's annoying. I don't want to. And now, okay, I'm going this way. Come, bring the lamp. I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Yuck. That goopy door, yuck. Door. Yuck. Can I go to it at all? Until later. Okay, you can tell him, Alex, I guess. That's part of me. The way I do. See what you gotta see. You know what I mean? Sixteenth of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Sorry guys, it's all on. Yeah, that's not good. I'm out. 
Sorry, I'm gonna call you that now because it stuck my brain. <clears throat> I'm gonna close the door behind me. Yeah, I know, I know, Daniel, you go and stay in the dark. I'm trying to actually light these. I will not read the non readable notes because I've wrapped so much in my. I should that you figured it out though. That's always a good sign, at least you figured that out. Sorry, I'm not gonna reveal that. But I will tell you this about one of the characters in the story called, uh, William, how he's wanting to help, uh, Al uh Alexander pretty much. I'll tell you that for sure. That's what he is very much trying to do. That's not good. Not much I can do more for you. Hello, sorry for you, that's what I feel. Eh, ah, monster noise. That actually is scary because that monster is not real. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Sorry if you're hearing this noise, I'm trying to send something to somebody, a message. It doesn't always want to work. Sorry. It makes everything difficult on me when this does this. Sorry if you guys. I know it's and I'm not moving, I'm trying to get this thing off my screen. Don't worry about that, Alex. <clears throat> Don't worry about that, Alex. It's fine. I will not explain about that right this second. Yeah, I told you not to talk about that, please. I will remove these messages if you keep on talking about it. Thank you. I'm remove I do want to remove these, though. Because I don't want to... Don't worry. I po I, uh, I understand. I un I do... No, it's okay. Don't worry. I just don't want to talk about it because it's not... Are you mad at me? You're not mad at me, are you, Alex? 
It also says those deleted messages. <sighs> Sorry. My bad. At least you're still mod. I don't think that took your mod super away though. Uh, do you want me- you probably want me to continue the game now, right? Right, Alex? Uh. Jeez. <laughs> uh, seriously, I have to remove those. I don't want those in the video pod here. Sorry. I can't help how I am, you know. It's part of my disability to ask if you're mad or not. I can't help it. Don't tell me what I can uh, can do with my channel, though. Watch it with that. <laughs> Be nice, please. Let's not try it. I can't help asking if you're mad or not. That's who I am. It's literally who I am. I have a disability. My disability makes me ask people if they're mad or not, somewhat. Thanks to all the people who've been, yeah, bad in the past and kind of rude. <sighs> Talk to them before talking to me, saying that I'm doing something wrong when, yeah. Mm -hmm. Please don't use caps, though, in my chat. Caps make me not really comfortable. Don't, don't use the caps. <laughs> Makes me, reminds me of my mom. And the whole uh, exclamation point then. See, <laughs> yeah, I always think of that. But, mm, front door. No, I know you're not mad. It's good. You're a lovely person. Very good friend. Aw, oh, thank you for calling me sweetheart, though. Oh, you make me happy. Ah. Uh, now I understand. No worries. <laughs> Just, I don't like caps. It's not your fault. It's all good. It's my stupid disability's fault. Disability you ruined my life, you know. My disability does. It's one of the things that I really hate. I tell ya. I guess all I think all my Oh. Book fell down. Then the hour start. That sounds like that's a bit creepy. That'd be creepy. That'd be creepy. Thank you for being so understanding, Alex. Oh, you're such a good friend, as well. True, I think we are very much alike. <laughs> very true, we are both very sensitive people, I can tell you that for sure. That we, so it's good that we totally understand each other, don't we? I'm not, I'm not mad though, I'm happy. Really? Sorry. <laughs> that might have been loud in your ears. <laughs> I forgot I have this thing on point. Oh, sorry about that yelling. I was excited about something. It's like, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, I'm excited because I get to get out of this room and continue on. Bye bye. Uh -huh. I don't like this haunted castle. Hmm. Alright, let me in. Let me in. Let me in, let me in. Oh, it's not let me in. Oh, darn door. Very true. I do understand that too. And it does seem very likely that we're like each other. Yes. I think that the I flip I say I think of that as the flip side as well. <clears throat> that we're like each other. Like that as well. I hear that. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the guy side of me. So I'm not talking about, I wasn't talking to you, I was making the eh, noise. 
tell them about this day in the area. I don't like the area. It's too dark in this area. This race is a little uncomfortable. Just for a little bit. Why am I saying that? <laughs> don't get it. But uh, I'm very happy out and unless. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me get that. of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. I do understand what you're saying though. I mean, I know what you're feeling is. I do understand. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. I think into monsters. 
my theory is they probably get transformed into monsters thanks to that wine because it makes some sense for monsters to be made that interestingly interesting way. If you know what I mean. If you guys know what I'm saying. that. 
the, this is not Team Fortress 2. It's Amnesia. They confused me now. Oh, my screen's going dark. Oh. This is not Team Fortress 2 or, or Orange Box, my friend. Wish it was, though. This would be a good game for the Orange Box. Not even joking. And of course, uh, I'm gonna wake up. And it's still gonna be leggy, leggy, leggy. It's gonna be leggy, leggy, leggy. We're gonna come back. Oh my gosh, this vibration stop. Vibration stop. Vibration stop, please. Okay. Well, I can really see um if I have to go back in and out Um, the orange box is what Team Fortress 2 is on to the council. That's why. Because on the orange box uh, game, when I load it up, that's why. Because if you, if I went back to menu, this is right. Only the vibration. Did. You guys can hear that noise. All that brrr going on. That's vibrations. The reason why I put name as. Orange box. I'm gonna go. I guess I'm okay. 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 I'm gonna exit and we enter. <laughs> oh no 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 no. That's fine, my friend. Um. Oh, wine store is where we were. Okay. Well, we enter the wine store. I'm gonna go directly into that room. This time, maybe if I go direct in that room, may it work? As soon as it works, and sometimes it just doesn't. So I'm just replaying this part. If you guys noticed before, I got stuck. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. That's that is the reason why though it has orange box the game. Yeah. So it's alright. You can. I can see why you wouldn't understand it right away, Alex. It's all good. No, no problem for ya. So cool. I wonder if the cutscene would make Where does the Baron go? Not okay. having that quick or something. He said, mess it up, why the last of the lifetime? Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! It worked this time, guys. Okay, I am G Dub. I will fall and look at us and ow. Oh, see that was supposed to happen. I was supposed to fall, but this is not supposed to be blocking my way. Why did I go this way? It's not supposed to go that way. Okay, bear, bear still has the collectible stone. Tender boxes are like the most important, one well, most important things. Thank you for that uh, fall, my friend. I really do. I think I might have already followed you. Yep, I already followed you. Yeah, I followed you, my friend. So, yeah, lurk. That sounds cool. This is not that scary. Uh, of course, I will go ahead later after I'm done. I will do some Discord with you, Alex. Of course. I would love to do that with you. I would love to do some Discord chat. If this wrong remove. Really? This is being difficult. Seriously, this game is being beyond difficult. I can't get anything to move. Nothing to move. 
a chair on it. <laughs> eh, of course, that doesn't work. Okay, how about we just move the wrong star by the door? I think those are the only movable locks. Alright, All right, there we go. Ah. I will have to get the door one now. About the monsters, guys. That's a uh, no awkward. Actually, bam, bam, bam. So I didn't pick up the London over here, but every time the monster just shoots my boxes away. So I'm just gonna. You see him way, way over there. I can't get to him. It won't let me. He goes the door behind him. And I'm all one to fight. Literally. My face is like all wonky. But now it's a little better. Now with the monster I think gone, it makes it a little better. You guys know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna close that. I'm just gonna light those. That's not the last one. But it'll be... <laughs> so I don't have to come back in this area later. How nice in a way. I know this one, I think right over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, so the door I shut that door over here. Oh, I'm gonna shut this one instead. I guess. And I think there might be oil in the next area. I am going to close the store though. <laughs> Just because I don't trust. Okay, hi. that guys am I back can everyone hear me I hope I'm back my chest oh. is oops uh, I forgot about the note <sighs> I guess I can read it if I'm sitting right here my name is Willem how is the jump there are many foul words, my confusion, and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the cas Castle Bramberg. As most of the our story was curious about what the supposed Knight of the Order 
what could want from me and accept the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a preposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was kidnapped healthy humans upon his son Cytus well and do so without asking questions. In return he would arrest a test to my character at Wild Card and match my person from a noble society. I would like to claim that I struggle with my decision but it came swiftly I accepted it ho hopefully Sorry, can't read that very well. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Burma. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred. Hundred and hundred nine of whom were ever seen or heard from again. And I Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we decided to the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So began to punish for my sins. The man has locked us up. Return upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. As we came fell into the basin ways, my men are screaming, and skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolting against the God given nature. The blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer uh, wait, no longer what? No longer what? Oh. Oh, doesn't say. Go to fast! My God! Wilhelm, do something! <laughs> Except it. We're not getting out of here, Clark. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Yuck. I do not like that, that, this area. I don't really like the wine cellar area, guys. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people love that area either, tell you the truth. and stuff in there. You even know what I mean? And not exactly good stuff per se. And yeah, that group is chimney to probably vent the fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll. I may have my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem 
unaffected, but may are stained by the fumes. It will be difficult, so savage, I shall do what I can and move to the wine cellar. So I moved the camels to the wine cellar, basically. Which was where we were just at, pretty much. This little area down here we will be in later with the war monster, which is that so let's jump in. It's kinda give you a, a hint that there's a war monster down there. You know the war monster kinda goes away now. So if I think you throw stuff down there It doesn't do nothing to the monster. So then the monster is there should be more coop rides. I can't wait. What do you say now? I'm sorry. I'm a... Aw, thank you. That's so sweet, Alex. That's so sweet. Love hugs. Hugs are nice. This is my third attempt to produce article that day. The former compounds lack the precision I need, but I sense I'm close. Hamline and Arpian are given and incorporate minds them well. The time I will attempt at Aquaphasia is set out first. I hope it will produce an even more solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and provides impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution should be handled with the greatest care. I want to be able to use the recipe. I'm not losing hope that I will find an effective solution to my pre-pre-cation problem case. And one part aqua force. You're 
rain a lot. I'm a big paragraph. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. around him. My bad. This is international doors. 22nd of June, 1839. Yeah. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I'm not sure.
that helped. As much as it could have helped. I don't care, I'm using these up. I like using them up if I can. Because I know I'm going to collect more. But come on, up, up, up. Oh wow, that hurt me. <laughs> You're funny. That's funny, Alex. <laughs> away from that side. Oh, I hate that scope. Oh, yuck. I'm not going down that area just yet because there is stuff I have to still collect. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Interesting.
gum. Yeah, I'm, I really want to vote this into the war. No? Not that bad. 
Hey, maybe quiet, but it's actually kind of what you would rather have. Loud monster sounds all over the place. But nice silence. I would have nice silence. Anyone knows him, this is not the most quiet amnesia. <laughs> actually tell you the truth. I made a custom story that's way more quiet than the original. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, oh, why is this so quiet? Well, Experiments pretty much that made that vente stuff he needs. Pretty much. And this is pretty much about how certain animals I think have more of the vente than ours or different chemicals and stuff. I think like the that he uses. If you know what I mean. I want to put all the one skull back. Ah, come on. I go on back in there, sorry. Sorry, Jim, come on. Yeah, I did Fine. Can what the drop it. Have a head on your shoulders, kid. Ha <laughs> ha! And the head on shoulders. Guys, go give her. Ooh! Tender. I'm more now. I'm more for the sun. I should have a decent amount of oil for this area. Oh. I kinda need it. Tender though. I don't know. Uh. Uh, thank you, Texas Child. It's not as big as thick as you get at the end after you're done doing the quest in here. No telling you pretty much the instructions of the machinery and what parts you need and all that. That's pretty much all that is. And that's the machine part I need. I 
I feel happy once I get the rooms to actually have music though. Because all the other ones are than that one though. Have do do have music. Ugh. Can't twist in there.
home gear if I get killed again.
tad's closer to that screen here shortly.
that you were following me, but no explanation, but I guess.
closer again because gotta get my night vision to work. Three rods is unavailable. There's one rod in the interstate rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down. Again, unless it is absolutely necessary to always use the spare rods and start from before, use an amended one. My nation. Oh, I fell. I died. <laughs> my hair died. Oh, the monsters. Sorry, I'm talking about the game, dude.
I'm dead. Ow. Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. I do apologize for before I confused you, eh? The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. 
If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. 
the most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Excuse me about that. You know, stand there if you have to go. It's fine. I just was curious. Every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep.
track. Especially when I'm doing a game like this where I have to use a lot more brain power for the game. Flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. I just hope the insight isn't for me. Just saying. Oh, I already got all these pieces on because I think I'm supposed to get all the cogwheels in the hop before you see them all, you know, move. Come on, let me, let me take it. I need to take that.
know what the heck people are thinking when they don't get to be nice to me. That just hurts my feelings. Sorry about that, guys. If you have to deal... <laughs> constructed like one at a Swedish theme park. It's not the elevator that moves, but the wall. I assume movies use the same trick a lot. This elevator, this elevator, this elevator, this elevator, this elevator. This elevator. It's not the elevator that moves, but the wall. I assume movies use the same trick a lot.
Alright guys, I'm gonna have to actually end it here because I'm gonna be going out to eat at Applebee's and really can't con you know ten can't really continue uh you know my stream from where I'm going, obviously. I mean yeah, if you know what I mean. So I am gonna do my end stuff here and I, I think I know what to do here. I think I know who I'm going to wait afterwards. I know, I know a friend of mine, oops, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh that wasn't that but good. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was going to, I was going to click the wrong button and do something like bad. Hey, my stream can go bye bye. Like the close button on my. <laughs> the close button on the screen. <laughs> that would not be good. I said, I want my chat going bye bye. No, I mean. So I'm gonna do my end stuff here. And then. After that, I'll go ahead and do a raid. Uh, and I probably will be back. Probably. N I'm saying maybe tonight. But more likely not tonight. And I'll probably be back tomorrow. Because I'm kind of going to be tired after, after, you know, being out. Just want to tell you guys that. We're going out to dinner just because, you know, it's going to be fun and relaxing. So I'm going to do my end stuff here, and we're going to head out. Alright, of course, the guys, whoever are new, probably don't know of this group of mine. But this group of mine is called the Savage Squad. Which is not a group I own, but I am part of the group. And they're very important teammates of mine. Because we work together as a team. And are really good people. So if you guys ever look for for uh, streamers that you guys want like streamers you guys want to watch, you guys should check these guys out if you want. Not saying you have to, just if you want. And their names are, and they are friends of mine, and their names are That's Good Gaming, a poster, WebEx Matthew, Nars Forte, a famous gamer Ray, and Jesse, Lucky Sonata, Neilheimer, Carl Ray, Omil for Day 5, and Spyro 2355. <laughs> Got a ton twister there. And this is my group, called the Nightmare Crew. Which I do plan on, and some new people eventually. Because so I have some new people planned, and we might have to make a part three to the command, but you know what? That's fine by me. If you have to, you have to, you know what I mean? Anyway, as I was saying, as I was, <laughs> this is a group I actually created on my community. Uh, with a lot of streamers that I thought, you know, were really nice and friendly, good people. I mean, it's hard, you know, it's hard not to like these people, because <laughs> they're funny, they're really sweet and kind, and they do try their best to be, you know, entertaining and fun, so, you guys should give them a chance and watch them when you get the chance to, because they're very fun and very awesome people. And my group of friends here, we have Epicness, oh yeah, Royal Fruit, Arcade Tech, Bad Luck Buddha, Little JR4, Ice Cream 777, God Charles, The Storm, and I, Pink Creatures. And I've only seen eye pain creatures once in my stream. That was a long while ago. Why well, not long, long while ago, but you get my point. Oh, I forgot to put... Uh, I forgot to put the two together. Hold on, anyway. Sorry about that. Alright. There we go. I may have oopsie there for a sec. I'm gonna have to fix this because Laura's and Game and Direct for Use uh, <laughs> link kind uh, of linked together. I have to fix that. Maybe make a line go through or something. <laughs> I'll fix that soon enough. But you guys at least know who they are, so you can look at look up the names too if you guys will ever want to. And of course, these guys are my friends as well. And my part two, which is as important as my part one, because together, perfect good team, as I say. And in my group, 
a part two of my friends is my friend Mary, Captain Books, Letty is my avatar, Funstum TV, awesome friends game and for you, and my newest friend Laura6683. And as I said before, I will be probably not on tonight, I'll probably be back on tomorrow. Uh, I hope to see you guys soon. soon. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and talk to you soon. Bye, guys.